Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisette and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures and just my regular pictures overall. So if you want to learn, just keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's jump right into the video. Alright, so jumping into the video, these are my editing apps, my picture apps. I mainly use three but camera 360 is my main main one i've been using this app since no joke like freshman year i believe and it has your basics pretty much it has like adjusting most of the things and i'll kind of go um through every feature that this app has so what you're going to do is first obviously choose your picture that you want to edit and i am going to choose a, this one and my camera that i use is i believe sony a5100 i believe i'm not sure <laughs> but i'll leave it down in the comments for you guys i mean in the description box so once you got your picture i'm gonna show you guys all the features that this has i mean it has filters it has the rotating it has the crop you know all that good stuff i don't really use these um i don't think i ever really have but it already comes with its regular uh filters and then it has this more advanced photo editing which is more for like teeth whitening or like fixing your acne blurring your face but i noticed that when i try to correct like my acne it just looks weird my face looks really bad <laughs> so i just don't use it as you can see i'm trying to clear up the spots where I would have acne and then show you guys that it makes, makes my skin look even worse. So that's why I just don't even use this. If I really want to Photoshop any acne that I might have, I use uh, Makeup 365, I believe. I don't know. It's down in the description box, but again, I don't really use that. So, so these are the other features that I was talking about where you can whiten your teeth if you want to obviously i'm not smiling with my teeth here so i can't use that one um they have like nose contouring they have like facelifts like slim down your face they have uh, another feature to enlarge your eyes anything you want this has so but again i don't really use these unless i really feel like i need to but that's not what we're here for this feature i actually sometimes do use and this is just a blur effect that it'll just blur the background so it's good for when you take bathroom selfies <laughs> or just uh pictures where you just want to blow out the background uh, they do a square one and a circular one so whatever you like to use they have that and then it can go more stronger or lighter so they have the crop one you know what that does they got a flip one you know all that good stuff but again i don't really use this i'm just showing you guys all the features that this app has which are actually really really good this feature here i also use sometimes and it's mostly mainly when i take pictures outside where it kind of shows a nice little like sunlight background so that's really cool when you take outside pictures you can make them stronger or lighter whatever works for you and then they have these frames as well that again i don't use okay now this is what i use and this is what i always use you're gonna go to adjust and you're gonna have all these different effects sharpen um exposure and all that and i'm gonna take my exposure and i'm gonna put it at a even number <laughs> and i'm gonna do 28 and you see that that already brightened it up alone and with contrast i like to play with it a little bit i don't really know how much of a difference it makes with certain pictures but with this one i just played around with it a little bit and then you have vibrance and saturation i like to use these at the end because whatever i use sometimes already gives me some color but if you want to go ahead and play with that go ahead again i will use this towards the end if i feel like i am looking still a little pale and want to give myself a little color my favorite feature is this highlight right here and i like to take it down to the negative side because that brings up any warmness and it actually smooths out my face i've noticed that i don't really use photoshop or like any of the softening or acne spot correctings on any of the photoshop apps i just use this highlight and that already 
brings it up as you could tell the difference and then with shadow again it's just hit or miss depending on the picture whatever works for me and if again i still want some color then that's when i'll go in with vibrance i don't use saturation because that's more on the orange side i'll just go in with vibrance and then that is the end result using camera 360 as you can tell it was very very dark now i brightened up and gave myself some nice warmness so after i'm done with camera 360 i do do another i do do <laughs> I take another step and that would be what goes around on my theme on my Instagram and for that we're gonna open up VSCO I believe it's called all the apps that I use will be in the description box so make sure to check that out so I save that and it automatically saves to your camera roll and I'm gonna open this and you will see of course you upload the picture that you want to edit but you will see that it has a lot of different filters and you get to play around with them so whatever you click on it and it shows you that's not how it's gonna look you can mess around with the warmness the contrast and all that and what i use is ka1 i believe that is the filter that i use and i just play around with that one as you can see i'll show you okay after you selected whatever filter you want to use and i'll be using ka1 i am gonna play with these around and so my strength will be at an 8.6 that's what i have all my pictures at and then my contrast it all depends sometimes it'll be at a one sometimes it'll be at a two it just depends how cool the effect leaves and then my warmness again I'll, I'll change between a 2.0 or a 3.0 but i don't want it so cool because then i look like casper the ghost <laughs> so then it'll just be at a 2.0 and then as you can see that already went from really warm to a more cooler tone effect and after you are done with editing and messing around with the effects then you're just going to go ahead and save it once you're satisfied and you're going to save it to your camera roll now i'm going to show you guys what i use to have that white background and i use no crop again this is another app that i've been using since like high school now and this you'll see once you pull up on instagram what it does i'm sure you all know so initially when your picture comes up it has the picture on the background as you can see we don't want that well at least i don't want that so i just go with the white background and as you can play around with it depending on where you want it to go i just keep it um whatever angle it's at and i just pull it i sometimes zoom it in a little bit more so it's nice and balanced in between so there's a nice even balance between white at the top and white at the bottom and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to pull up my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's underscore L-I-I-Z-X. Yep, I don't know my Instagram. <laughs> and this is what gives it that whitish background where not all the pictures are pulled up together. And that's why you can sometimes play with it if you want it more on the corner-ish. And you guys will get to see once you play around with it. But for the most part, this is what I use. I mainly use two apps, which would be Camera 360 and VSCO. And then No Crop is optional. I don't like all my pictures to be slammed together like Instagram already does it for you. So if you guys like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And all the information will be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.